Stephen, thank you for being a part of Media Revolutionaries. Thank you, thank you for having me. How'd you get into this business? I think like a lot of folks of my generation uh, uh, who went into journalism, I, I was influenced by my fascination with, uh, started out with the Watergate uh, uh, case uh, against President Nixon, and I was just riveted by it and the role that the Washington Post and the Washington Post uh, editors and reporters uh, uh, played in it, and it just led me to think that uh, you know, being a journalist is something that has great social responsibility and uh, was important. And, uh, and I stuck with it and uh, got a job with the Wall Street Journal out of college. First job? First job. As a reporter? As a reporter. And um, during that time, first job, and beyond that, did you ever have a mentor? Uh, I've, I've been blessed to have uh, several mentors. Uh, the, the, the top editor at the Wall Street Journal, uh, Norm Perlstein, uh, was and continues to be a mentor. Uh, his deputy, who eventually took over the paper, Paul Steiger, was a mentor. Uh, Jim Stewart was the editor of the front page when I uh, helped out with that, and he was a mentor. And then here at Hearst, my mentor for, for uh, some 20 years now has been Frank Benick, my predecessor, who ran this company. So wonderfully for 29 years. I don't think you could find a better mentor than Frank. I think that's right. So when you look back at your career, recognizing there's a lot more to come, what was your greatest accomplishment? Well, I, I, I find it hard to separate anything I might have done from, from what the company has done. And I think uh, uh, over, uh, over uh, many years, we've managed to, each time new media platforms get created, we've managed to, to create them with them. And uh, you know, when, when uh, we move from uh, broadcast television to cable, we managed to create the A&E History and Lifetime channels to invest in ESPN. And, and now as the world moves to digital and streaming video, we're very proud of the work that all of our brands are doing to make the digital transition. Plus we're investing in new companies like Vice and BuzzFeed and, and Awesomeness TV that are, that are uh, really purpose built for the new digital age. Age and uh, so I'm, I'm proud of how we've made the transition. And again, looking back, what was your greatest challenge and how did you deal with it? Well, I was an executive for several years in the newspaper uh, industry as we uh, experienced relentless declines in, in our ad revenue and to some degree in our, uh, in, in our circulation. and. Uh, uh, that was tough because we just we couldn't cut costs fast enough and we couldn't get the digital moving fast enough to get the, uh, the, 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 the profits uh, growing. I'm, I'm pleased to say that we at least laid the groundwork during that period and uh, here at Hearst we're working on our fourth straight year of profit growth at Hearst newspapers but if you want to go back five and ten years those were some very difficult years. And a lot of newspapers went bankrupt. Well, well, some did, but a, a lot of them, a lot of them struggled, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't think you you could find a one that didn't see their profits uh, significantly reduced. But I'm pleased to say I think uh, uh, at least at our papers we're we're on a rebound now. And what was the the key ingredient to getting through that tough period of time, turning those papers into? continuous profitability. Well, you know, first of all, we focused on our culture and our people and keeping them together and uh, making sure we all supported each other in what were some really difficult times. Uh, I think we did a lot of, uh, of, of intelligent and continue to do a lot of intelligent cost cutting that does not involve taking journalists off the street or even uh, cutting the quality of the newsprint. And then I think we work very hard to develop multiple uh, digital revenue sources doing all kinds of digital marketing services for our, our local clients, uh, as well as developing digital uh, journalism products. And uh, I think all of those have helped us uh, pull out of the difficult period. Kids have a lot of opportunities today when they get out of school. Why would you recommend that they get into our business, the media business? I think the media business remains great. First of all, we're on the cutting edge of all kinds of digital uh, innovation. It's a, it's a business that everybody shares in, and, and it's a business that cuts across the economy. You know, our, the ad products that we sell are used by the, the auto industry, the technology industry, the fashion industry. Our products touch people uh, across the, uh, the age and income uh, uh, spectrum, and, and it's great fun.
What piece of advice would you give these kids that would allow them to achieve some measure of the same success that you've enjoyed? Well, I think the old saw of doing things that you're passionate about really works. I mean, uh, you know, I, I have the great privilege to, to, to run a major media company today, but I got my start as a newspaper reporter, and it's because it was what I was most interested in, and that led to so many other things. But, you know, looking back on it, you could say, well, how does one lead to another? But uh, when I was getting out of college, uh, being in the newspaper business and being a reporter was what I was most excited about, and, and I did it, and I loved it, and it, it's worked out. Follow your passion. <laughs> I think so.